right, so we're checking out the only game where you can play the dictator of a tyrannical communist city-state that oppresses people and makes them want to kill themselves. It's city-state. My plan today is I want to make the most oppressive dictatorship you can possibly have. I want to destroy people's lives and make it almost impossible to live in this city. But somehow I, I still want to make money and make it work. I don't know how yet. I'm going to like enslave the whole populace or something and take all the rights away and oppress the hell out of them until they're broken and sad. Custom game, damn it. Welcome everyone to the communist jungles of... I really don't know where we are. This is where every violent dictator-like regime begins. I don't like it. We, I think we can pick like almost any other region type. What else can you have? An island, a coast, or a continent. Ah, uh, I live in Florida. Let's do coastal. Florida's plenty oppressive anyway. Ask anyone over the age of 65. All right, looks kind of like Florida. The only thing it's missing is the dead fish eyes of the broken, but uh, we'll, we'll get those as soon as we start making our, uh, our city state here. Name, Florida, but more depressing oh apparently you can't put that there we go perfect you can make a how do you do this you can make a flag oh you can just draw stuff like <laughs> florida's but more sad's flag is the unimpressed guy looking askant at all those who would dare move here anyway it's good enough for me uh liberal democracy <laughs> liberal democracy hold on if you mess with this, does it change the type that it is? About humankind. The rights to health, dignity, and non-discrimination. Yeah, we're not choosing that. Individual judgment, responsibility, and self-ownership. Uh, I'm gonna keep that the way it is. Private property within the limits of the common good, sure. God, I haven't seen this term since, like, seventh grade history. The government as protector and provider. Powerful government, that's what we want. Appointing a team of advisors. I like this. Support more regulations and fiscal policies to boost the economy. We want this because we want to squeeze as much money as physically possible out of everyone that dares move here. Welcome everyone to Florida, but more sad, the capitalist democracy. Anytime the word capitalist is involved in the government type, it's exactly what I was going for. I think we're gonna start over here. Look, it's got some islands for the wealthy people as well. Nice road. There seem to be some, some woodlands over there, but luckily we just mowed that down in the name of capitalism. Residential zones. Is there anything for like low income? Oh God, there is social housing, perfect. This is gonna be the slum. But like I said, we're gonna need like a wealthy area too, just so that they can feel better than the regular slum people. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that like uh, over here. Actually, hold on, they get to live slightly further away from the rabble. Renewable energies, should we encourage the use of renewable energy sources? No subsidiaries for any type of energy, Jesus. Which one gives us some sort of revenue change? All right, we need to make it look like we're, like we're a decent place to live. So I'm gonna pick this one first so that people kind of want to move in put some farmland down gonna be right next to all of the the low income housing unemployment is 97 percent well give me a second i gotta put these farms down first the quality of life is average we really need to take care of that up oh. Another issue, legal work hours. How many hours should people be allowed to work? As many as possible, is that one of the options? Limited to 50, 30? Not put any limitations. Yes, work the hell out of the people. Oh, estimated approval minus 10, plus eight. Hmm, screw that, I don't care, I still want this. The upper class is totally fine with this. Build mines to generate cash. Man, this game thinks just like I do. Send people into the mines to make us money, sure. Uh, explore for minerals. 91% gold prospecting. Holy Jesus, we have the freaking mother load over here. There's like regular iron over here though as well. Drill. Here's the road to get out of here if people want to go. They shouldn't want to though. This is how we're going to get trade in, I guess. Jesus, trade capacity, 153. What the hell? Education is too low, seriously. Private schooling. Should we regulate private educational institutions? Private schools are free to operate. Okay. All schools and universities are only run and fully controlled by the state. Perfect. All of the people in the low-income housing, I'm gonna surround them with office buildings. We need to get some of this freaking gold over here. I gotta get these people working on this. We need like a road that goes out there though. Taxes on alcohol and tobacco. Should we discourage the use of tobacco and alcohol? Absolutely not. I, I would love for people to continue to drink alcohol and tobacco. Oh, but this gets us more revenue. So never mind, more taxing it is. It's interesting that alcohol and tobacco are available only in state-owned stores. So now we control what people eat and drink. Civil rights minus four, freedom index minus 10. I'm not gonna lie, this area looks like a trailer park over here. It looks exactly like how I wanted it to look. It's perfect, right next to the giant 
like apartment complexes. And is that like a, a car dealership? This game's JPEGs are amazing. GMOs and food safety. GMOs are legal and unregulated. <laughs> GMOs are banned, but imports are allowed? No. I'm gonna put no. Low income. 80% freedom index 47. I don't exactly know what that means, but I'm assuming it's like halfway. In other news, Florida, but more sad, continues to higher taxes. Oh, we're gonna tax the hell out of people. Man, roads are flowing. This guy's driving on the freaking side of the road. I, that doesn't look appropriate. Considering how we're running our state here, I'm surprised that people would dare do this. That's, that, that right there is call for a friggin' flogging publicly. Low land value. All right, hold on. There, here's a park. Here's another park. I'm gonna put a slightly fancier park right here. How about that? Low class, stage two of five. That's brutal. Public transportation. Should public money serve to improve the transport systems? What makes me money? Privatize everything? Absolutely. I can destroy water? Okay. Oh, I can have a government building. Uh, modest cabin? What? Actually, that's probably all we can afford. Homelessness. Should the government help homeless people? No support. Child policy. Should we implement a child policy to control our population growth? Oh my god. Give special subsidies to large families? You only get one child per family. Congra oh my god. Look at the approval rating. <laughs> Well, it's pretty typical of a government. We're pretty far in the red here. So I'm gonna go ahead and issue a ton of bonds and pray to Jesus this works out. Should literature and arts be supported by the government? What makes this money? I don't care what it is. Is there anything that makes this money? Nothing makes this money. No support. Screw you guys. I've had enough of this crap. I'm taxing the hell out of everyone. For national security, should the government conduct surveillance programs? Tracking of all internet activities and communications. Oh my god. This society is not gonna last at all. I had no idea it would be quite so bad. <laughs> it should increase the security. The precautionary principle. Should public policies restrict the introduction of a new product when ultimately its effects are not known? No restriction. Okay, we have to pick this one because we need more approval ratings. Everything is becoming abandoned. All of the lots have begun to rust over. And the unemployment rate is very high. The whole state is getting poorer. It's fine. We'll just issue more bonds. More bonds. Should guns be legal? Guns should be entirely legal and sold within normal tax rates. Ah, eh, yeah, what the hell? Everyone can have guns. Florida, but more sad. Government type socialist oligarchy. Again, I haven't heard anything like this in years. Oh my God, there's so many abandoned buildings. More bonds. The approval rating is low. Living conditions must be improved and inequalities reduced. Otherwise a riot might occur. Absolutely not. Everyone gets to work in the friggin' gold mines. Get over it. Banks are state owned. They can only borrow money from the government. Oh my God, revenue. Yes, please. A communist oligarchy now. Fantastic. More bonds. Literally everyone in the entire town works in the mines. The gold mines. Everyone. It's insane. Oh my god, what are we gonna pass now? Business and bureaucracy. To what extent should the government control and survey the creation and management of private companies? Whatever makes me the most money. Uh, registration fee and provide extensive account status. Sounds good. Why do people keep moving here? This place is a hellhole to live in. Everyone just keeps coming though. I right, bulldoze this crap down, put a park there. You know, bulldoze this down too. More gold. The entirety of the city is just shanty towns and hell holes. Oh God, what now? Retail legislation. How should stores and malls be regulated? You know how. Where's the money maker? Damn it. Gotta get rid of all these friggin' vagrants over here. I never thought I would intentionally try and take care of all my people. The state is running out of money. Take out a loan. This will only be my 30,000th one. Destroy the friggin' trailer parks. But Gray, we eked out a life here. Shut up. Retirement. How should citizens arrange the retirement? You guys don't get no retirement. Employer-sponsored private fund, neither compulsory retirement, state pension. Oh, God. All of these are awful. I'm picking this one. God, everywhere I go. Informal settlements. I have to keep bulldozing all this crap down. All right, who else is living and not paying taxes? You? Nope. People over here? Uh-uh. We'll do a medium density one over here. But just a regular density one over here. Look at this entire informal settlement area. Bulldoze the whole goddamn place to the ground. Labor law. Regulate more extensive work contracts. I wish. Welcome everyone to the communist democracy, okay? Immigration? Border control? How many immigrants should be allowed to enter? All of them. Oh, 
Never mind. I can't have any of them come in because none of them want to be here. I'm gonna put a ski slope in. Who knows? Maybe it'll get people to show up. You know what? Here's another friggin' ski slope for you, communist bastards. Oh, now everyone wants to live here, huh? Now everyone's suddenly starting to show up. Gender equality. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no support. Jesus. I can't afford these other ones. We're gonna pick this one. Sorry, everyone. Inequalities for all. Oh, wow. The people are building their own friggin' apartment buildings now. Cool. What the hell is this? How the hell are there informal settlements way the crap out here? Get wrecked. Look at this crap. There's informal settlements everywhere. Come and live in the friggin' city, you scumbags. This isn't how this works. The people seem to think that they had a lot more leeway to live where they wanted. Don't friggin' think so. No one lives outside of the guise of taxation. I swear to God. How many times do I have to crush these friggin' uprisings? Animal protection. Oh. Wait, grant the same rights to the animal than to the citizen? Animals get the same rights? That's amazing. Everyone hates it. <laughs> That's so good. This legitimately has to be the worst society in the entire universe. I don't know how people still live here on purpose. I'm gonna build a beach. You gotta be freaking kidding me. There we go. Maybe the beaches will do something. Private security. Private companies are allowed to provide armed and unarmed security. Uh, ooh. Our approval rating sucks anyway. Why not? With the finger of God, I destroy all of the informal locations across the entire map. Uh, uh. Quality of life is excellent? How? People get treated the same as animals. Where are all these freaking vagrants coming from? Welcome to Grace still destroys homes. Population, all these friggin' people. Oh god, what sort of friggin' bill do I have to pass this time? Prostitution! <laughs> ah, legalizing prostitution will make the worker's life somewhat safer. It also makes us 41 bucks, absolutely! Gambling. All gambling is allowed, no license required. Hell yes. Welcome to a liberal democracy, sure. Copyrights. Do they even make any money? No, no one gets any intellectual ownership. Mine all this, all of it. It's all state owned. The state owns everything. So right now, we own a city where prostitution is legal, gambling is legal, everyone can carry guns, no one gets any rights for copyright, animals have the same rights as human beings. Space program. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, if you want to pay for it, the government ain't sure ain't doing it. You can own a weapons plant? Okay. Oh my god, weapons plants are amazing. I want another one. Any abandoned lots will now be filled with more weapons plants. All right, we're doing low income housing again. If I can find any place to shove this. What benefits should families get from the government? Nothing. You get nothing. All right, more low income social housing. Fund healthcare? You must be crazy. Every once in a while, Dictator Gray has to go around the map, make sure that he slaughters anyone that's not living inside of our utopia. The quality of life is utopian? Are you serious right now? <laughs> These people have no rights. They have no life. The government owns everything. Drug war. Legalize all drugs? Absolutely. How should we regulate genome editing? Genetically engineer babies and human cloning. <laughs> Hell yes. I'm gonna upgrade the roads just to see if it does anything. Who knows? Student loans, huh? Uh, let's see. Students can only borrow money from private banks. Well, I've been taxing the crap out of everyone for a while, so I don't know. Maybe we'll give them a public fund. How should criminals be dealt with? Oh my god. Criminals are required to perform penal labor for their time. Yes. There's only 666 people living here now. We may actually be able to drive everyone out. I can't believe it. Ban everything that has to do with foreign stuff. We own everything in here. Somehow we're a socialist democracy now. Cool. Oh, what's this? People are starting to fill up my low income social housing finally. Oh my God. The middle class is starting to move in. What the hell? What the hell? The upper class moved into my utopia. Why would anyone purposefully want to live here? Oh my god, the friggin' roads! This is friggin' incredible. In my hellhole of a society, I've got hotels going up now. Friggin' McDonald's is over here. What the friggin' hell is this? What is this? Some sort of huge building. I don't even know what this is. It's making me money though, and I'm really happy about it. Wow. 
The skyscrapers are getting bigger and bigger. This is insane. I'm upgrading all of the buildings. The people that have lived here have lived here in shame for so long that I think I've finally beaten them down and they'll just exist in this environment and work until they die. Oh my God, let me bring you through a freaking look at our city right now. This insane city. I have to increase the roads because of how much traffic happens. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. Oh my God, traffic's 370. What the hell? How did it get so out of hand? Oh my God, I'm almost out of debt. I had like a, a like a hundred bajillion dollar debt and we're almost out. Oh my God, I'm making so much friggin' money now. I'm just, I'm putting beaches everywhere. Beachfront property all around. Oh my God. The sales tax revenue is insane. Tell me I could put a ski slope right here. Absolutely, right in the middle of the city. I don't know what this is, it's a reserve, I'm buying it, I don't care. I just built an entire friggin' city in like a giant ash tree. I don't even know what this is. It's called like Tree City or something. Oak City. <laughs> Destroy the environment. More area for industry. God, I've got to upgrade the friggin' roads again. Oh my god, when I increased the roads, everything went absolutely ballistic down here. The whole place is growing like crazy. Heroes Square Monument. Sure, why not? More business. More industry. I have no idea what a port does, but I'm gonna put one down because whatever. I actually need more space now for extra buildings, so I'm starting to rip water out of the ground somehow. I don't know how we're doing this. It's just part of our god powers, I guess. I decided to put down this floating city over here because I can. Okay, I think we've beaten the game. I can't believe it. I literally chose every horrible rule that you could possibly have like everything to oppress the hell out of these people. I took out a mountain of debt and somehow we turned our city into a gigantic, money-making, sprawling metropolis. Hey, folks, that's going to be it for this episode of Safe State. Until the next time, stay foxy much love.